today's offering from the One Hung Low uh, Electronics Bazaar is the Yiko DC-DC power supply voltmeter USB output new made in China, of course. So we get the board here. This is a buck converter. And the clear acrylic packaging. And what looks like a shield or something. We'll take a look at it. Open her up. Oh, they had their Wheaties at the One Hung Low factory that day, didn't they? We've got input, screw terminals, output, CV, CC, I'm trying to read what that chip is, XL Semi, XL 4 o one five e one I have to look that up back we have something written in Chinese I'm guessing that's a lm three one seven voltage regulator those two are lm three five eight op amps That's another uh, written in Chinese package. So uh, this thing is advertised as input voltage 5 to 36 volts DC, output voltage 1.25 to 32 volts, output current adjustable 5 amp max. Really? Okay. Working frequency 180 kilohertz, conversion efficiency 96%. Working temperature minus 40 to plus 85 C. Short circuit protection, yes. Over temperature, yes. Input reverse polarity protection, no. If necessary, please in input string into high current diode. I think they mean put a diode on your VCC. Usage, use as a battery charger, use as a high power constant current LED drive module, use as a step down module. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to assemble the case and put this together and we'll test her out. You guys hang on. All right. Well, as you can see, I assembled it onto the, uh, the bottom board. I'm not going to put this thing into its case. Um, the case is very nice, but you know, that's the only heat sink right there. And that's on that, uh, XL semi, what was it? 501, 504, whatever I said it was, that is the, uh, uh, buck converter on a chip. So we're seeing, uh, this is, I've got it cranked out as low as it'll go. 1.2 it's showing here. And on the multimeter, 1.23. Let's check it at 3.3 volts. 3.36. This is kind of a, not a great way to adjust this. I mean, the 10 turn pot is wonderful. So right where we're, there where it's just cracking the 3.3, I'm getting 3.31 on the multimeter. I guess that's all right. Next up, 5 volts. Five. 
5.01, 5.02. That's very good, well within range. All right, it's seven. Seven point oh six, also very good. Nine. Nine point oh five, good. And then we'll see how high we can get. My input voltage is twelve point four three. So twelve point four one is the maximum input voltage. Let's put her back down at five volts. All right, I'll move the multimeter out of the way here for a couple minutes. Now. There are two switches. All this one does is turn off the display. This one has five modes. Right now it is showing volts, amps, power, volts, amps, power, it's switching between them. And back there with the red in light on. That in light, I read somewhere what that was. Let's see if I can find it. Just says input voltage indicator. And then the other one says, oh, okay. In this mode, it's indicating the input voltage. And in this mode, it's indicating the output voltage. And then the other three modes are uh, amps, power, and switching between them. Nice. So if I set a constant current level, hmm, nothing's happening. Maybe it has to have a load on it. Now, if you look here, you'll notice that it does have a USB port. But this is only a single output power supply, which means you better make sure you set this to five volts before you plug your $800 smartphone in there, or you may just let the magic smoke out. Now the case, of course, very nice, you know, very nice cut plastic. All fits in very well but uh there's absolutely not going to be any cooling and even with no load on it that's going to warm up quickly so i'm not going to put one on there for now maybe i find another case to put this in what i was thinking was i could extract these little 10 turn potentiometers and put some real you know knob job 10 turns on there and this might make a uh, halfway decent little power source power supply 
Anyway, if you're interested, there's the info. And I paid $13 for this. So if you like this video, please uh, like, comment, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Christmas.